Thank you so much, Leanne. Well, from as early as the third century before Christ, people have been intrigued by the inner world of the body, so much so that they documented it in medical journals and also in ancient drawings. Well, our fascination continues as we are intrigued with what happens inside the body. In comes the striking Body Worlds exhibition. It's back in South Africa, viewed by more than 40 million people, and it's giving us food for thought as to what really goes into our body and also how to treat our bodies. Human beings come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and while we're all uniquely different on the outside, on the inside, we're all made of the same stuff. But if we could see the unique systems that make up our bodies, would we take better care of them? Although good health should be an easy choice, the Body Worlds exhibition, featuring real human bodies as educational sculptures, inspires healthier living by revealing the science of the human body. Body Worlds offers a unique opportunity to find out what's inside you. Here inside the exhibition you see a wonderful collection of real human specimens that are permanently preserved. Plastination really offered a great, great opportunity to our modern society to really learn in a very aesthetical way about your inner self. And I know by experience that it changes people's view on themselves. They usually say, never again will I take my body for granted. It makes you think about how the lifestyle you lead can affect your, your body in damaging ways and also in positive ways, so they're left with, with that thought. The bodies are preserved through plastination where water and fats are removed from the tissues and replaced with a polymer through a fluid exchange process to keep them intact. Thanks to science, these bodies will live on well beyond their time, but for the rest of us, aging is an inevitable process, which happens when our cells lose their ability to regenerate over time. But thankfully, that process can be slowed down if we observe a good diet, frequent exercise, and general good health. I'm a third year medical student, so I had anatomy last year, and we did dissections as well. So it's very interesting to see the way they dissected this. It's so beautifully done. They give enough information to make it scientifically correct, but also in a way that everybody can understand, even kids, and the way they explain it, so it's very cool. The benefit of hosting the Body Worlds exhibition at the Cy Bono Discovery Center is merging education and the wonder of science into an exciting experience. When we bring exhibitions like Body World, we're taking some of the curriculum work and making it fun to come and learn about our bodies. We're all fascinated about that. What better way to do that than here? I decided to come because I want to learn more from my body. The scary was then smoking makes your lungs black. Being a biology student, I decided to come learn outside the textbook. I was very intrigued to actually find out if things that are actually in the textbook are actually what is real. For me, the human body is just an intricate and wonderful, artful piece. And I think it deserves to be treated properly. And that is my goal I follow with the idea of body worlds, to really help people understand what wonderful treasure they have and it's really worthwhile to care for the body and how you can do so. I've learned that the human body can be a well-oiled machine if it's taken care of correctly, but I think a lot of the time we take it for granted. Absolutely, but I've learned that the human body already knows what it needs to do to keep itself healthy and alive. We just have to listen to it. Like, I think our bodies are trying to tell us it's time for breakfast. Breakfast it is.